I think that um, we have evolved in the field of sexual medicine with regard to treatments for erectile dysfunction. Uh, I think it's uh, certainly, I think, a, a real uh, advance for us to, to uh, have brought the field forward with some novel ideas here, uh, some of which are not fully understood as of yet. Platelet-rich plasma, PRP, uh, shockwave therapy, uh, stem cells, all of these are, are exciting new developments in the field uh, that uh, are, are starting to be brought forward for clinical applications. Uh, at the same time, uh, they may still be investigational to the extent that we do not really know uh, how, how they are successful or how effective they may be. Uh, certainly safety uh, is to be kept in mind with using these options as well. But I think it is important that we do keep an open mind because I think that the future of the field uh, will rely upon such interventions uh, beyond what we have currently now, uh, such as oral medications, vacuum pumps, penile injections, and even penile prosthesis surgery. Uh, all of these options uh, are options uh, that treat erectile dysfunction, uh, many times just a temporary intervention, whereas some of these more novel uh, concepts here may actually be consistent with a new era in our field, the era of, of ways to heal the penis uh, and, and perhaps cure uh, diseases uh, within the penis and restore natural function. So I really applaud our moving forward uh, with these options. I do want to keep an open mind about them. Uh, to the extent that we should investigate them well, uh, carry out further uh, studies preclinically as well as clinically uh, to establish how they work, establish their safety, establish their efficacy, establish which patients should really respond well to these uh, options and so forth. So all of these are considerations to be kept in mind uh, to responsibly uh, bring these therapies forward.